Welcome to your go market update and charts of the day for today. It's Monday, the 17th of June. We trust you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Across the news, of course, we had a choppy mix session on Friday, which saw the Nasdaq, the only index higher, on the back of some big tech buying, noticeably uh, Nvidia and Google and Adobe, uh, and only 25% advances across the NYSE as a whole. So the S&P 500 essentially just paused below record highs. Uh, the NASDAQ continues to outperform. The Russell 2000 continues to struggle. Uh, US futures are moving on to today, near neutral in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally low and weren't really helped by some Chinese data, which I'll reference in a moment. ASX is down around 0.15% in early trading in a fairly tight ranging day. European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open this afternoon at this stage. Obviously, Friday saw a very choppy FX market with BOJ action throwing currencies, particularly the end crosses, all over the place. The US dollar index managed to close the day in the neutral, uh, pairing early losses as a result of that, and remains range bound today. Uh, gold bounced off 2300 is a little soft in Asia, as is copper, which is managing just about to hold support. Ore remains flat, as it did last week, in a very tight range. So very little movement since the last Monday's spike. Bitcoin is lower and remains at the bottom of the 66 to 70,000 range, may breach support. And if we do, then we could see more selling. As I said, that China data came out was pretty mixed. Industrial production was slightly lower than not only expected, but also lower than last month. That's not particularly good news. And retail sales are high versus expectations. A little else of note until the US manufacturing data later today. It is the Australian rate decision tomorrow. Pause is expected. It'll be the press conference and statement goes along with that. There'll be a potential market mover. Later on in the week, we've got the Bank of England and People's Bank of China rate decisions. Global PMI data on Friday, which is probably the major market mover of the week, and UK and Eurozone CPI, uh, which will obviously impact those relevant currencies. What was Charles and Corari today on the ASX? Sonic Healthcare looking interesting. Uh, we bounced off support around about $24, and you can see we've got a V-shaped bounce in play. Looking at the support prior to this down move back in March at around about 25.80, Playing with that level in today's trading and a move through that could see us test previous swing high at around about 7% to the upside, 2765-ish is where we see this potentially landing over the course of time. In the FX market, the Aussie dollar is probably the weaker currency today. You can see here against the yen on the 30-minute chart, look as though we're breaching a key level at 104. Uh, they, this move through 103.94 looks potentially bearish. You could see us drift down during the course of the session around about 30 to 40 pips. That's one to keep an eye on over the course of the next few hours. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.